President Trump's temporary travel ban is in a federal appeals court tonight. The judges will decide whether it can be reinstated or if the ban should remain on hold. Each side will have 30 minutes to make its case. And as we've been reporting, the technology industry has been paying particularly close attention. In a nutshell, President Trump's executive order suspends travel from seven mostly Muslim countries the administration deems terror incubators. And the decree has spawned widespread protests. But the president continues to hold his ground. I mean, we have to have security in our country. Opponents are essentially making three types of arguments to the appeals court. First, that the temporary ban is unlawful. Second, it represents bad policy. And third, that it threatens the nation's economy. Just south of the hearing in San Francisco lies Silicon Valley, capital of the U.S. tech industry, where the president's executive order is raising tensions. In a court brief filed Sunday, about 100 major tech companies, including Google, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Intel, Netflix, Uber, and Tesla, came out against the travel restrictions. They say the order harms the competitiveness of U.S. companies and that the rules will make it far more difficult and expensive for U.S. companies to hire some of the world's best talent. The Silicon Valley Leadership Group, an industry trade organization, says 58 percent of the engineers and other high-skilled employees there were born outside of the United States. But the number directly affected by the executive order on travel is admittedly a small fraction of that percentage. For instance, Microsoft, based to the north in Washington state, has about 120,000 employees, 71,000 in the United States. The company says it knows of 76 employees who were citizens of the countries targeted by President Trump's order. At Alphabet, Google's parent company, thousands walked out in protest. The company has said more than 100 of its 72,000 global workers are directly affected by the order. It's not just tech that's been impacted. The healthcare industry wasn't part of Sunday's court brief, but 16% of its more than 14 million workers were foreign born in 2015, including more than half the medical scientists. Think biotech. It's unknown precisely how many healthcare workers would be hit by the travel restrictions. One thing is certain, though Silicon Valley and lots of tech companies are up in arms over the presidential ruling. And today, more than 160 biotech executives signed a letter to a science journal criticizing the travel restrictions.